welcome to another edition of the Author Fan Face Off. I am school librarian Stacey Ratner, and my fabulous co host is author Steve Schengen. Hello, everyone. And today we have um, Susan Katz, and we are, are going to be doing The Story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a biography book for new readers. So, you know how this goes. Welcome, Susan. Um, we have one book, one author, one super fan. We're so excited to have Charlotte with us. Um, 10 questions and we see who's the winner. Yeah, we knew we wanted to do a special Ruth Bader Ginsburg edition. So we're really glad you guys could both join us. Charlotte, you're, you're, you look very prepared for this. You are in addition to a uh, RBG fan, a Hamilton fan as well. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You want to perform the whole show for us right now? No. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. We'll save I that would, for... but I don't have my costume. Yeah, we don't have that kind of time. So we're just going to go back and forth with questions. I think, Stacy, you got the first two, right? I do. I read okay. and Charlotte's first. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where was Ruth Bader Ginsburg born? Um, Brooklyn, New York, 1933. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she's giving us extra bonus points. Okay. One plus. And excellent. Susan, Ruth was born Joan Ruth Bader. Why did she go by Ruth? Because there were too many um, Jones in her kindergarten class. So they decided to call her Ruth. Very good. Interesting Is fact, yes. <laughs> Did you ever find out how many Jones there were? Or I think I read it was like five or six, but I can't be sure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, Charlotte. Why did young Ruth get a D? She got a D in handwriting. Um, she got a D because she was a left and in handwriting, they were expected for everybody to write with their right. So she exactly. could write correctly. Exactly. And that was sort of a, an early fight for justice, wasn't it? Where she said, wait a minute, I'm lefty. I should be able to write you with my left hand. All right, we're going to skip ahead a little bit now to Har to law school. Ruth went to Harvard Law School, and there were 500 men, but only this number of women. You asking me? Yes, I'm asking. Sorry, I, I, this is That's right. There were nine. She was one of nine. Correct. Wow, you guys came prepared. We were not expecting <laughs> anything less. All right, Charlotte, where did... Ruth Bader Ginsburg get her first job as a law professor? Uh, thinking. <laughs> That's tough. I actually totally it's... forgot, even though you read the book like two minutes ago. I totally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> and it's somewhere in there. It's okay, I'm <laughs> <hurry up. laughs> It's Rutgers. Oh. Rutgers is right. I should have found her full name. <laughs> it's all good. It's all for fun. All right, Susan, a group of lawyers, including RBG, filed a lawsuit against Rutgers. Why? Because they were paying the women less than the men for the same job. And they were doing that, they said, because the men, they were married to men who also had a job. So they said they didn't need to make as much money mm -hmm. because they had a husband who had a job as well. So they didn't think that was fair. So they fought against it and won. Awesome. All right, Charlotte, this one's really tough. When Ruth was at the ACLU, she argued six cases in front of the Supreme Court. How many did she win? Five. Yes. Woo! Wow. You, had that. That. you had the dramatic pause there, Charlotte. I think about it. <laughs> I'm just thinking because yeah. I'm, cause she lost one of the six, so then it was five. Absolutely. Susan, in 1980, President Jimmy Carter picked RBG to serve on this court. Um, the U.S. District Court of Appeals in D.C.? Yeah, something, something like that, yes? Yes, appeals. <laughs> we'll take it. All right, you guys are All very right. good. Charlotte, in 1993, President Bill Clinton picked RBG to serve on this court. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. All right, let's just <laughs> ask Sorry. that. Sorry. Let, let me ask that again. <laughs> um, in 1993, President Bill Clinton picked RBG to serve on this court. I think it was the Supreme Court Justice. Yeah. Yep. yep. That was her final job. Yep. Because she did that in the third cancer. So she died, basically. And Susan, this is something I didn't know. RBG. Favorite favorite (laughs) question. (laughs) I know. And uh, of course, my mom knew it. And Judge Anton and Scalia once performed together in this kind of show. They did an opera. (laughs) Sorry. I was going to say, I was going to say, I'm going to answer, Charlotte. (laughs) Yeah, we knew Charlotte do that in opera. Wow, you guys did really good. If I ask a really a tough bonus question, I'm just going to see who who knows it. Charlotte, you can go first if you like. RBG, she was the second woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. So you know what I'm going to ask. Who was the first woman to serve? I think it was Lily something. Oh, you're recalling a case that she that she... That was like you know, that was in my really mind. Impact on. Yeah, this was barely in the book. I think it was in a, a caption in one of the photo captions or drawing captions. I don't think that was in the. Book. <laughs> I know. I don't. Think <laughs> I don't think it was in the book. <laughs> That's why it's a bonus question. And I'm drawing a blank too right now, Charlotte. So it's fine. I'm drawing a blank. I know the women that came after her, but I'm drawing a blank on the first woman. I can picture there's a drawing in there. Yes. Where it has the four women. Shall we look at it? I have the book. Shall we look at the yeah, drawing? Let's look at it and answer it together. We, we, uh, oh, yeah. oh, and Charlotte's right. got the book too. Right, find it first. What page are you on? All right. It is page 40. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Sandra Day O'Connor. Yeah. 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 